Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Vertex Manoj Roy. Exercise 9.3, question number 11 on word. Function is given to us like f of x is equals to 3x, x minus 3, and for all values of x uh, except x equals to 3, because when you write x equal to 3, this will become 0. And in the function, the denominator should not be 0, which is undefined value. So, show that uh, f of x equals to x for all values of x except x equal to 3. Actually, uh, if you find f of x means you will substitute f in f, so you will get the answer x. We have already done this type of question. Okay, I think so I should do it now. 3 in the place of x, I will write the whole equation once again. And the equation is itself 3x, x minus 3, 3x, x minus 3, and just we need to simplify now. First part, uh, 3 is 9x divided by x minus 3, and when we take the LCM is coming, x minus 3, 3x and this 3 will multiply with this so minus 3 with the bracket x minus 3 so this x minus 3 x minus 3 is cancel out so the remaining part is 9x divided by 3x minus 3x and plus 3 so 3x 3x is also cancel out no this is 9 sorry because 3 times 3 is 9 so we have the result 9x upon 9 which is equals to only x. So we have proved that f of x is equals to x that we have shown. Okay. Uh, like okay and like uh, what we have here like there is no x in the denominator. So it means there is no restriction for the undefined value of x. So it's here. Uh, values of x except x equal to 3. Show that all the values of x except x equal to 3. This we have done it actually. So the next part is find f of 5 and f inverse of 5. So f of 5 means we have to put 5 here and 3 times 5 divided by 5 minus 3 is equal to 15 upon 2 and you can write the answer in decimal 7.5 or 7 whole 1 upon 2. Then we need to find f inverse of 5 means we have to write make f inverse first. So f of x is equals to 3x x minus 3. This will become y because to make the f inverse and when we do the cross multiplication is x minus 3 is equals to like multiply with y. 3x. So xy minus 3y is equals to 3x. When you want to make x as a subject, x should be in like all the x should be in left hand side. So minus 3x is equals to this 3y in right hand side. To make x as a subject, x is common. x minus 3 equals to 3y. And x you can write x is equals to 3y divided by y minus 3. And now x will become f inverse and this y will become x both the y's will become x this is the equation for f inverse and we need to find in f inverse 5 so 3 times 5 and 5 minus 3 so it's coming 15 divided by 2 is again 7.5 so if we check the answer, the answer of this part, question number, uh, this is 11 is f5 is 7.5, f inverse 5 is also 7.5 and we have done it right. Moving to question number 12. In question number 12, the function is x plus 1 divided by x minus 1. This is not equal to 1 is given here. If f squared 2 is equal to 3, fa inverse, find the value of f. Okay, this condition is very simple. 
the f square 2 means we are talking about f of f2 like this f f2 is equals to c f inverse a is the given condition and this is very important thing here that i will do f of 2 first i will write f of 2 first so 2 plus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 is coming 3 upon 1 is only 3 so this value is coming 3 this 3 will be substituted in f now like this is not like this now so 3 uh, you can write 3 plus 1 divided by 3 minus 1 which is coming 4 upon 2 is equals to 2 it means the complete value of f square 2 is coming 2 and we have to equate so we write 2 is equals to like even we can write and we also need to find f inverse so what this is the first value because we have to find this one now f inverse we write y is equals to x plus 1 divided by x minus 1 this is cross multiply and x should be all the x should be in left hand side one side to make x as a subject So, x is equals to 1 plus y divided by y minus 1 and this will become f inverse 1 plus this y will become x, f inverse. Now, what the condition? The condition is f square 2 is equals to 3 f inverse a. f square 2 is equals to 2, we have already got it. And 3 and f inverse is this one 1 plus and a means x will become a a minus 1 and just we need to simplify is coming uh, 2a minus 2 equals to 3 plus 3a and this 3a minus 2a and 3 is here minus 5 so a is coming minus 5 and we have done it let me check the answer of this part a is coming minus 5 and we have done it right so we have done question number 12 question number 13 in question number 13 we have the equation f of x and x is not equals to 1 like it's simple so we need to find the f inverse i think so there is no problem to find f inverse and this question seems to be like very simple like f inverse there is no problem to find f inverse and the second condition is what f of a plus f inverse of 2a is equals to 1 and then you can find the value there is no problem i think so oh yes because uh, this we have to write like a upon x minus 1 will, will become a minus 1 and f inverse means when you find the inverse of uh, like inverse should be like this in terms of uh, x minus 1 equals to a upon y x equals to a upon y plus 1 and f inverse is equals to a upon x plus 1 and if you write f inverse like uh, is given 2a so i write a upon 2a plus 1 this is cancelled out. This is 1 upon 2 plus 1 means it's coming 3 upon 2. So I can write here 3 upon 2 is equals to 1. And now I think so. Let me solve the whole question. I think so. LCM is this. And this is 2a plus 3a minus 3 equals to 1. Cross multiply 5a minus 3 equals to 2a minus 2. Sorry if I do any mistake because sometimes so many questions and writing this is 1 and 3 a is 1 and a is coming 1 upon 3 i think so we are done let me check the answer a is coming 1 upon 3 and absolutely right yes we have done it and the inverse here like here in the exam like in the book you can see they have taken the lcm and this is a plus x this is also uh, use you can write like this or you can write like this there is no problem so moving to the next question question number 14 two functions are given fx and gx 
fx is 2x and x minus 1 and gx is x plus a divided by x. Okay, find f inverse and f inverse 3. This is like here, what we have to do when you find like f inverse, I'm, by, I'm just for doing this part, uh, x minus uh, x with multiply this is xy minus y is equal to 2x because x is 2 times so we have to write both the x in one side and x is common y minus 2 is equal to y and x equals to y upon y minus 2 so this is f inverse and this is x upon x minus 2 and the condition is what like here, uh, here g f inverse 3 is equals to 4 for this purpose i would advise everyone so please just find f inverse 3 first here if you know the f inverse 3 what about f inverse 3 let me check what's the f inverse 3 here 3 upon 3 minus 2 is coming only 3 so this value is coming 3 and this value is 3 it means we have to substitute in g now so when we substitute here g like 3 is equals to 3 plus a upon 3 this whole value is here 3 plus a upon 3 is equals to 4 so 3 plus a is equals to 12 and a is coming 9 and we have done it and let me check the answer of this part this is a is 9 absolutely right we have done and here also write x is not equals to 2 because when you write 2 here it will become 0 so we have done question number 14 uh, let's see in question number 15 we have like two functions once again f and g and show that f g is equals to x and evaluate the value of f inverse 5, g inverse 4, and f, f, g 4. Uh, in this part, I would like to say this is very simple. So you have to substitute g in f means we have to prove. And we have done this type of question to prove. So there is no problem in this part because you have to substitute in f, g. What we have to do, just I'm writing, just I'm substituting. In the place of x, you will write the whole value of g. The whole value g is like uh, this will be a little bit complicated and when you take the lcm the denominator will be cancelled out here very simple and you can get the answer x there is no problem but f inverse 5 i think so no problem g inverse uh, 4 we have also done like this we have to find g inverse but this thing f f g 4 for this purpose, the step number one is you have to find first g of 4. g of 4 is suppose here, g is 4 is coming 2 times 4 minus 1 divided by x my 4 minus 3. So it's coming 1 and 8 is coming 7. So g of 4 is coming 7 means the value of here is 7. This part is 7. So we write f f 7. Now this we have to find f of 7 now f of 7 means i have to use this equation uh, 3 like 7 minus 1 divided by 7 minus 2 and it's coming 5 14 and 7 3 is 21 is coming 20 and is equals to 4 so f of 7 is coming 4 means this is coming 4 so what is left f only so i will write f of 4 only so when you find f of 4 f of 4 means just put 4 in the function uh, minus 1 and so once again i will say sorry if i do any mistake because i'm doing things little like fast sometimes 12 minus 1 upon 4 minus 2 is coming